there's been a lot of uh, uh, discussions about uh, this particular piece of legislation. You've seen a lot of sloganeering um, and fake narratives by leftist politicians, by activists, by corporate media, and you still see it even today after a lot of this stuff has been debunked. Now, it's true, many of the people who help, who whip this up have never actually read the bill. Uh, they haven't taken the time to do that. They would rather just further narratives. Um, but I must tell you, these leftist politicians, corporate media outlets, some of these activist groups, they actually have read the bill. And they're sloganeering because they don't want to admit that they support a lot of the things that we're providing protections against. For example, they support sexualizing kids in kindergarten. They support injecting woke gender ideology into second grade classrooms. They support enabling schools to quote, transition students to a quote, different gender without the knowledge of the parent, much less without the parent's consent. And so what they're doing with these slogans and these narratives is they are trying to camouflage their true intentions. They know in every single poll that's been done that actually reads the language in the bill will find overwhelmingly Americans oppose injecting this type of material into the classroom of young kids. Americans support the right of parents to be informed and to be able to withhold consent over certain types of medical um, uh, treatments in, in school. So they know that, and so that's why they're resorting uh, to some of the narratives. And it hasn't worked, but let's just be clear, it's not just all of them have not read the bill. Many have not. Many have, and many of them want to see this type of stuff in our schools. So be very, very careful when you see that. And I was someone told me that there's even people in Hollywood that are that are opposed, um, you know, to, to to providing protections for parents and enforcing parents' rights. You know, the one thing I'll say about that is, if the people who held up degenerates like Harvey Weinstein up as exemplars and as heroes and as all that, if those are the types of people that are opposing us on parents' rights. I wear that like a badge of honor. And so uh, we will continue to recognize that in the state of Florida, parents have a fundamental role in the education, health care, and well-being of their children. We will not move from that. I don't care what corporate media outlets say, I don't care what Hollywood says, I don't care what big corporations say, here I stand, I'm not backing down. <laughs> and so in Florida, we will make sure that parents can send their kids to school to get an education, not an indoctrination. That's right.